life, yo. <laughs> and very soon. <laughs> yeah, real soon, man. So, real Mr. Soon. Holly, I've been following you on IG and Facebook for a couple years now, and your followers are growing at a rapid pace, especially for someone incarcerated. What are some of the marketing strategies and or tools you use to add to your followers? Oh, uh, you know, like you said, man, you know, I've been uh, having Instagram and Facebook for about four years now, going on five years. Mm -hmm. um, I never knew anything about marketing. Right. You know, so I'm kind of like a sponge. I learn things fast at a rapid pace, right? And me creating my Instagram and Facebook, I paid attention to other people's marketing strategies and tools that they use, you know, to build their brand and to, you know, market their brand. Right. Um, something just clicked in my head tremendously and said, man, all your skills that you, that God has blessed you with, man, go ahead and upload them on the ground, man. Yeah, upload yeah. them on the ground. And I said that because, you know, I was leading the people the wrong way, man, you know, before I was incarcerated. Right. So I felt as though that I owed me, but more so I owed the people something greater that they can use, you know, out there on the street so they can be successful. Man. Oh my gosh, man. You know, yeah, and you know that's 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 you know that's just a brief synopsis of it. Okay, bro, it seems like you got your head on your show the right way now. But let me ask you, so Mr. Oz, what separates your leadership from that of others that you believe that you're able to motivate the people? I'm con I'm, I'm 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 being consistent on leading the people while I'm incarcerated. Oh. I could be doing anything else while I'm incarcerated. I mean, watching TV, indulging into negative activities, but I choose to take my time to continue on studying and strive for greatness to give back to the people because they're going to need it the most. The ones that's under me, that's doing their best to uh, uh, be on the road to success, they're going to need it the most. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and will you be sharing any of these secrets in the book that you're working on. <laughs> yeah, I, like I knew about you, that. I, I like how you that. said I that. I know, I know like about that. that. I know about that. My book, my, 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 book, yeah. my book that I'm writing is coming along. It's, it's, it's coming along great. Uh -huh. You know, um, and like I said, always, man, I, I, I keep faith, man. You know, that God has blessed me with these skills, man, to be able to write my first book. You know, it should right. be done pretty soon. I never right. wrote a book before. Right. But, you know, it's it's, 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 it's going to be great. I'm okay, telling you, it's going to okay. be great. Okay. Now, besides your personal life experiences, right, uh, what are some of the classes, on an educational standpoint, you've taken or books that you've read to better yourself during your incarceration? Woo, that's a that's a that's that's deep. That's deep, man. Um, I have taken numerous classes since I've been incarcerated. I mean, you know, self help classes, you know, carpentry classes, electrical classes. Um, I got criminal justice college credits. Um, I'm a certified life coach. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a lot, man. It 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 got to the point that I you know end up being a you know co facilitator to a facilitator yeah. to me teaching classes. So, you know, I definitely came a long way. Mm -hmm. um, Books-wise, I done read numerous books. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Um, uh, Miseducation of the Negro by Carter G. Wilson. And I can go on and so forth. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, shit. Like, goddamn, man. <laughs> I mean, it seemed like you got it all figured out. Now, questions I got to ask you. So, a word commonly used for a person in prison that picked up a book or pen and piece of paper during their incarceration is institutionalized. I know you heard it before, <laughs> plenty of times. I mean, I believe that a lot of people in society are stuck in that mind frame because they spend most of their time working for the next man or woman. That being said, I don't believe they've taken the time to better themselves for whatever reason. I don't know, but we do or some people do in our situation. I don't think they understand how determined and motivated you have to be to be able to accomplish some of the things that you have accomplished throughout your stay in prison, given the obstacles that you've been given. Right, right. So if they're gonna prejudge you before 
they know you. Uh, let me ask you, Will. You prejudge them, or how do you feel about the average person that works a nine to five, go to work, come home, take care of their kids, pay their bills, live week to week, and look at you as like he's just another guy that came out of prison, like with you dig what I'm saying? Because they haven't taken the time to do anything for themselves. Do you feel, let me just say this, do you feel that, how do you feel about a person working a nine to five? Um, this, 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 go back. Cause you asked me two questions. Right. I'm gonna start off with people judging me by being incarcerated. Well, another black individual being incarcerated and coming home saying they gonna do this and come home and I supposedly they think I'm not gonna do it. I have been challenged from numerous people stating that matter, right? Right. And I told those, you know, two individuals, look, couple of, you know, couple of individuals, I told them, right, what person you know that's incarcerated that has this tool that God has blessed them with, that has this tool that God has blessed them with and putting content on their Instagram, man. I'm marketing and branding from behind the wall, man. Who doing that? Who doing that? Ain't nobody doing that. If they doing it, at them to me, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know I me. Mean? If they doing that, at them to me. I'm telling you because, man, I'm coming. You hear me? I'm coming. I'm telling you, I'm coming, man. And it's gonna be great. True, it's gonna be great. There's only one me, and I'm best believe I'm gonna leave this legacy behind, man. All best right. believe that. All right. So let me ask you though. So you've accomplished some things. Do you think people are gonna downgrade your accomplishments because of how you gained your accomplish accomplishments or where you have gained your accomplishments? <laughs> People downgrade and, and, and uh, people downgrade and are judgmental every day. No, yeah. I'm ready for it. Sure, you feel what I'm saying? I'm ready for it. You want to know why? Because I have already been through it. It's another challenge. You feel what I'm saying? A challenge is just part of your experience in life that make you great. I love the haters. Because yeah. the haters don't do nothing but motivate me. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I love them. Yeah. They motivate me every day yeah. to do something different and to shit on them a little more. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, right? It's, it's, it's a part of life, man. It's a part of life. But at the end of the day, people got to understand, who are you to judge, man? The only one that can judge is, 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 is the law, man. God, man. He's the only person that can judge, man. On judgment day. That's it. That's all. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I do what I do every day out of the kindness of my heart, man. Y'all don't know what I went through in here, man. Y'all don't know. Every day, man, of uh, 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 doing my best to change, to become the new me. Walls closing in on me, man. You feel what I'm saying? I'm too old. I'm, I want to be in them books so much. I want to make a change for my people so much. Man, words getting small, words getting big. I got to learn this word. I got to learn this word. I got to look through the, the vocabulary builder, look through the, the source, ask questions. You feel what I'm saying? Like, coming up from where we from, we didn't, it's a lot of shit we ain't know, man. We, and, and back on to what you were saying, the number one thing that we didn't know is being financially educated, man. Right. And that goes to you talking about the nine to five. I re now that I'm finding educated and know about credit and stuff like that, um, nine to five is just a stepping stone, man. It's a stepping stone, man, to get your goals that you want to get to accomplished, man. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of people that you know, a lot of people live beyond their means, man, and they wonder why they're broke all the time. You know, they said job is the acronym of uh, just over broke. You feel huh. what I'm saying? Just over yeah. That's what they say. And, and 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 you know they have this uh, thing called ordinary income, a uh, uh, passive income, and portfolio income. Ordinary ordinary income is a person that works a nine to five that they take forty percent out of that yearly salary, man. Forty percent out of that yearly salary. Portfolio income is uh you know somebody is uh, capital gains, gaining capital gains, man. And, and and, and 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 passive income is you know getting that passive money flow you know throughout the months man you know what i'm saying who wants to work a nine to five to have to go to work just to pay your bills man i'm not going to do it you got to go to work to pay your bills so that means if you don't go to work your bills don't get paid <laughs> now your money is supposed to work for you man your money is supposed to work for you you know what i'm saying and you know that's just you know some things i've learned since i've been in and there's more there's more you know y'all just stay tuned man yeah. stay tuned yeah you see me taking notes yeah <laughs> i'm taking notes while you talking bro yeah, yeah. so you know jay said it best man let him without 
sin cast the first stone. You dig what I'm saying? So, I mean, I congratulate you, brother. I appreciate and, it. I and appreciate keep it. doing your thing. So, uh, how do you plan on building on this success uh, once you're released from prison? Man, you know, keep doing what I'm doing, man. Every day, being consistent, man. Consistency, man. Persistence, man. Doing this same every day, man. Don't stop. I'm not going to stop. The first day out, y'all going to see first day out. My first day out will be totally different from everybody first day out. I'm going to shine. When I mean I'm going to shine, I'm going to shine. i always been shining. And see, the thing is, right, a lot of people get, uh, uh, you know, arrogant and, you know, uh, uh, confidence mixed up, man. It's not in the same category. See, I'm confident. I'm not an arrogant individual. I'm just confident. I, 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 I'm just confident in what I do and what I say. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And I stand on it, man. Right. And I stand. Uh, we not took a detour through the day. Your city. In the whole DMV. Is there anything you want to add or let your followers know before we wrap it up? Um... To the people, man, that's watching, man. Little girls, little boys, you know, brothers, sisters, the ones that's older, the ones that's around my age, man. You could be whatever you want to be in life. Whatever you want to be in life, no matter where you are, because here today I'm doing it, man. Right. Here today, y'all see me right now doing it, man. Doing it. They gave me 15 years. Two times told they gave me 15 years, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it crushed everybody. They like, damn, why he getting locked up with this and that? I know why I got locked up. All the negative energy that I was putting out into the universe, man. It was my fault. At that time, I didn't understand that. Now I do. They wonder why I'm so happy. I'm, I'm in a blissful state of mind. You know, I'm, you know, I'm never complaining or, or stressing about Things that I can't, things that, that, that I can't, that's out of my control. There's no reason to. God wakes me up every morning, man. Every morning. I can see, I can touch, I can smell, I can hear, I can feel, I can taste. You know, that's a blessing, man. That is a blessing. A lot of people ask me, would you would have took the five to eight year cop that they was taught, that they was, you know, giving me at first? I said, man, uh, I don't regret taking it. Not taking it. I don't regret it. And they say, why? I don't think the things that I know now I would have knew then. Five years you do four and some change, I would have been back in the streets. Eight years you do six and some change, I would have been back in the streets. And doing the same shit. Doing the same stuff, man. I don't think I would have been where I am today back then, man. I yeah. don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. Not I'm telling you. Way. And it's a blessing. It's a blessing, man. I feel the same way, Mr. Ali. Uh, I mean, it's a gift and a curse and everything, man, isn't it? No question. It uh, definitely is. Well, it's been a pleasure, man. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, man. My Appreciate first you. interview. Appreciate Major you. Life Fitness. Appreciate Major you. Life Kitchen. Major Life Motivation, man. And don't forget, Major Life Yoga coming soon. Major Life Yoga coming to you real soon, so, man. So, Mr. Ali, yeah. it's been a pleasure, man. I appreciate, God, I appreciate you. I appreciate you bringing God. me in today, man. It's yeah, a man. blessing. It's an honor, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate you, man. See well, you. Mr. Holly, it seems like you're on your way to do even more greater things. No question. Yeah, man. Your determination and focus is something that's unmatched for a person that's in your shoes. Some brothers and sisters would have lost it a long time ago. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But you did things the right way and pushed to create a better tomorrow. Huh? And I commend you for that man Appreciate i mean you, man. as a brother and as a friend in the same situation as you you feel me so they say you about to go home definitely any day now you know what I mean? any day now you know any day now it's about to happen man I'm yeah telling you. and when your time come my time coming right after that sure is man. and i can't wait to see what's next sure is man. until next time we're gonna continue this legacy and this shit like this. <laughs>